Hey everybody, Corey at Gemini Guitar. Today's lesson's focusing on a real melancholy style progression, A minor or F, but uh, I'm going to spice things up a bit with the voicings and uh, you'll get to see that in a tick. Uh, we're also going to use distortion, which is going to thicken it up using our rhythm pickup, and uh, so it's going to sound nice and fat and uh, groovy. So uh, let's check it out and see how we go. Okay, so first we'll get to grips with the chords. Now there's only really going to be two of these and then you can experiment with your own ideas after that. I'm going to show you a concept at work which will enable you to do that. Okay, so the first shape involved is basically an A minor type chord. I'm pretty sure it's an A minor add nine, but that's really not a big deal. As long as we get the shape right, it's gonna sound cool anyway. So we've got 13th fret on second string, and we've got the 16th on the third string, and we've got the 14th on the fourth string. With that, we're gonna play the open fifth and the open first string. Uh, you wanna switch to your rhythm pickup here and use a reasonable amount of distortion. I'm not overdriving it to the max, but uh, you want a pretty fat sort of driven sound. And uh, this is what this one's gonna sound like. As you can hear there, it's a nice blend. It's got a metallic, melancholic sort of feel to it, which is really cool. Now the other chord, or the basic chord shape we're gonna use is pretty much an, uh, an F power chord with the addition of the E note. And uh, as far as I know, this makes it F major seven. But again, let's not worry about the names. Let's just focus on the sound and getting the shape into place. So we've got the root note F. That's fret 13 on string six. Uh, we've got the C note on the fifth string, that's fret 15 and then we got the E note which is at fret 14 on string 4. Now with this one you probably don't want to play um, the high E string but if you do it's not going to sound that bad so uh, I'm just going to demonstrate this one now. Now if that sounds a bit too noisy, what you can do is just restrict yourself to the 6th, uh, 5th, 4th strings and maybe the 3rd as an open string. Sounds a bit like this. And that's opposed to the previous sound. But uh, I like the sound of the other one, so um, it's nice and noisy and stuff, so a nice textural sort of sound which is cool. So the first one, what I'd suggest doing is um, changing the fingering somewhat. So you might uh, say, take the fourth finger off, replace that with your third finger on the same note, then put your first at fret 14 on string four, fret 14. Now what this does is this opens you up a bit so you can use some notes, um, color notes I like to call these on the second and the first string. So for example, we could use the D note on string two at fret 15. And now it sounds like this, if we play from the fifth string. But we could also introduce the, uh, the octave, the A note at, uh, what is it, fret 17 on string one. So what I'm going to do here is just play the first shape. And I'm going to transform that into the next shape. And then the next one. And what you're going to find here is it's got a melodic characteristic and uh, this is a really important part of being a good rhythm guitarist. You don't want to be stuck in bar chord and power chord land because quite frankly they get boring after a while. So these are going to basically help you to look at the guitar more as a series of shapes and experimental shapes at that. There's really no need to know the names of the chords. I think it's more important just to put your fingers down have a bit of a go, check it out. Uh, if it sounds good, it is good. That's the best way to look at it. So don't worry too much about the theoretical side of things and free yourself up a bit. Let's have a listen to that. OK, 
Okay, so back to the uh, the second shape we looked at, which was the F major seven shape, we'll call that. Now um, with this one, you could um, also use some higher notes, but this time probably not up to string one, maybe on the second and the third string. So for example, if we uh, take the basic shape, now we could uh, stick a B note in there. So the B note's at the uh, 16th fret on string three. And this has got a really nice tension about it. Not only that, we can bend that B note up. That's a nice little trick I like to use. So you just get your pinky there and you just give it a little bit of a curl. Uh, they're called curls in blues music because you just bend them up slightly or you can bend it up a half step. And um, this sounds nice. So if we can bend up to the C note, That's got a really, um, what would you say, dramatic sort of sound about it, which is really nice. But not only that, if you're struggling with that, you could just basically put your pinky across onto the C note. So you just move across a fret. So you'd end up at 17th on the uh, third string. And you could switch between those two if you wanted to. Go back to the original shape. Introduce them again. And so on. So uh, that's pretty much the way I'd look at these two chords up in this area of the neck. Now don't forget that once you get a shape you like, look for the other scale tones around it. That's the important thing. So this is where knowing your scales comes in handy, I guess, but we can't do that today. It's beyond the scope of the lesson. But uh, that's just a couple of notes there that we could use with each of those chords. And you can just have a fiddle around then and see how you go. And uh, like I said before, remember that in music, whatever sounds good normally is good. So you have to use your ears. And uh, not everybody's always going to like the same things as you do, but uh, that's what makes music cool. It's what makes it interesting and powerful is the fact that there's so much variety and creativity in it. So it's not necessary for everyone to like it. Uh, if you like it and it sounds good, that's what matters. So... Keep that in mind as you experiment with these ideas and uh, have fun with them. So until the next lesson, bye for now.